Hey guys, it's Connor P24 here. Um, I'm actually just going to do this quick video for you guys. I've had a couple people ask me about my vest setup and you know how I run my vest and whatnot. Um, and this is actually the setup that I ran at Divide Hard 2. Um, so I was lucky enough to have all of the pouches for my vest come in um, essentially the week before the op. But they were coming all the way from Poland, which uh, is amazing that they were even able to get here in time and actually uh, the call time patch you see on there got here the day of the op but or got here the day before the op but we had already left and we're already up there when it was here so uh, that kind of sucked but other than that um, I'm just gonna kind of give a rundown of you know what I run on the vest and you know kind of personal preference of why I run it and there's also reasons behind why you know I run this certain stuff you know not only for you know Milsim ops or uh, just just for the look of it, but it's also practical to have on on the vest. So um, first of all, looking at the front of the vest, you see the uh, the mag panel. Um, I have a triple mag panel back here, and then just a double. Um, there, it's made by a company called Linderhof Tactic. Uh, the same company makes the vest, as along with m most of the pouches. Um, just a little note on the vest and the pouches. Um, this vest was made by a replica gear maker in Poland. Uh, that's kind of how my pouches were made and everything because the actual stuff um, is not readily available to civilians it's very very hard to to get and you're very lucky to find you know a Linderhof uh, Gen 3 PC which is this plate carrier um, on ebay.de which I've only seen a couple of times um, and they go for an insane amount of money sometimes like 500 euros or something like that um, just an idea this entire vest with all of its pouches cost me about three to three hundred and fifty US dollars um, not including shipping and every everything like that so it's actually not that bad and it's like really essential for a KSK type of loadout but um, like I said the entire kit is based off of Linderhof stuff like I said it's mostly uh, just replica made but it's very very durable I mean I'm sure if you compare side by side it's almost identical um, to it but back to what I was saying, um, I have a triple mag panel and then a double on top of that. Um, originally I had my pistol pouch here, but it just kept getting in the way and it was kind of annoying. So I moved that, you know, off to the side, as you can see. Now the reason why I run, like running open top mag pouches versus closed top is it allows for a faster reload. Um, and also from like crawling and stuff, it's, they kind of, it's more comfortable for me when I'm crawling or, you know, laying prone or something than a closed mag pouch with double magazines in it. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's just, I've just always had a preference for open top mag pouches over a closed top one. I'm sure if you guys have, you know, a certain preference or whatnot, go ahead and comment down below. I'd, I'd love to start a conversation on it, um, or something, uh, which is, I mean, a lot of people are very mixed about, you know, an open top mag and a closed top mag pouch. But this is what I prefer, this is what I've had experience running, and this is what I've found, you know, works best for me. Um, which, that's really essential when setting up your carrier, is just what really works for you the best. I mean, as long as you have all the legit stuff on it, it's kind of like, you know, you can set it up whatever way you want. Um, on top of that, I just have, there's a Velcro panel up here, I just have a German flag and then a, my call sign patch, which is a fake IR one, but, I mean, it's, it's legit looking. Um, I actually have a push to talk like button thing here. Um, I used I bought this radio on Amazon, which I'll show you guys in the back in a minute um, before the op, so I could communicate with um, my other friend who is a marine now. He's based in Japan. Uh, he's the other guy that runs the KSK stuff. Um, he uh, we both got him so we could communicate with each other along with everybody else. Um, so pretty good cheap radio. And then uh, right on the opposite side of that is just my uh, mouthpiece for my Camelback Hydro Carrier. Um, this vest also connected with the Hydro Carrier. There's a little clip piece right here. Um, the vest also is a quick release as well, so it's much like a Cirrus vest. It's I, I the way I've described this vest to people is a cross between a Cry JPC because high um, it sits high on your body and uh, Cirrus. So it's got the releasable and it sits high on your body. So it's a very high speed uh, sort of setup. So I'm gonna turn the uh, vest a little bit and we'll talk about the two uh, pouches I have on the side. Alright guys, so this is the side of the vest. Um, right here I have a single pistol mag pouch, which I just right now have my mag to my USP sitting in there. Um, I only have one mag for it, so I gotta pick up some more. Um, 
I just moved that there. It's a little bit easier just to store, you know, a speed loader or uh, an extra pistol mag. Right next to that, I have a EMT sort of uh, vertical utility pouch sort of thing. I've got two IR chem lights, and I think I have a red chem light on that on the outside. Um, and pretty much just inside of here is really just basic stuff. Um, I actually have a sling. Okay, there goes a pen. Uh, sling. Uh, Allen keys, flashlights, some chewing gum, some army knife. I mean, really just basic stuff I can store in here that I don't need to, you know, that I can use in the field. I mean, I don't just put random crap in there um, because I don't want to just be lugging around random ass crap that I'm not going to use. So that's a kind of good pouch to carry miscellaneous things in. And then right behind that is a flashbang pouch. It's a double flashbang pouch. I'll probably throw some Thunder Bees back in here because they fit perfectly in there. Um, that's like the perfect spot to put them. Especially if you're stacked up with someone, they can just easily grab them. I mean, most of the time you see them back on the Hydro, but I like them here because it keeps sort of a lower profile and it's all sort of contained. Okay, just moving on to the back panel is uh, the Hydro Carrier, like I said, Linderhoff Tactic. Uh, I actually have the Camelback bladder in here. It's a three liter, so it actually fits really nicely. Uh, the bladder, the Unit itself hangs a little bit lower than the entire vest, which is fine because I don't have anything on the back of my uh, Linderhoff blast belt, so it's not a problem there. And then next to that I just have a TMC radio pouch. Um, I bought this a while ago and it was mounted on my Cirrus and it fits the radio that I bought, which is a uh, Baofeng UV5R. Uh, you can get them super, super cheap on Amazon. I think I got that with the push to talk for like $45, um, so it was a pretty good deal, and it fits the radio perfectly. Um, just a side note, I probably will end up losing the uh, push to talk thing and actually buying a headset to go on. Uh, there is a replica sound traps, which is what I would actually wear, KSK guys would wear, so I probably should be picking up a pair of those just to you know, wear airsofting and, and whatnot. Um, because the real ones are really, really hard to find <laughs> because they don't really, really for the public, like I said. Okay, uh, moving to the other side, so my last pouch on here is just my, uh, my IFAC, kind of my trauma thing. Uh, it can actually be completely ripped off, you know, like an IFAC normally does. Got my shears on the outside so I can easily access them. I just open it up with a buckle and then there's some Velcro on the inside with some zippers. And then I've just got a cat tourniquet in here, which we actually had for the op. There's a medic tag from Devi. Um, what else? Um, another multi-tool, some Sharpies. I mean, other kind of essential things. My for All my first aid stuff is actually in my deployment bag, which I will actually do a, another video on of kind of what I pack to go to an op. Um, and you guys can kind of just see what I kind of pack everything up in. But um, I think that actually does it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you guys like these sort of really quick uh, gear videos, kind of just showing off what I run, uh, please comment below. Let me let me know, guys, because I can easily get these done uh, quickly. Um, I should have some more gun reviews coming out. I'm going to do a whole loadout video, which is going to be absolutely awesome. It's going to take forever for me to edit and... Uh, film it and get all the information out to you guys when it's completely finished. Um, like, I am almost there. Um, and, uh, yeah, so thanks for watching this video, guys. Please subscribe up above. Check out some of the links down in the description and stuff that's on your screen right now. And uh, we will see you guys later.